What's up YouTube? So my first uh, least favorite trends video of 2016 uh, got quite a lot of love as well as hate as well as fuck you comments which I guess would constitute as hate but anyway it seems like a lot of you want me to do another one and to be perfectly honest there aren't really that many more trends that I dislike uh, it, from 2016. Now there are a few that kind of popped up towards the end and yeah, so it's not going to be quite as many as before. I think the last one was like five or six. So this time around, it's only going to be three. And yeah, let's just see what the um, response from this is. Uh, hopefully you guys just realize it's not kind of that serious. I kind of just make these because they're kind of fun to make. So yeah, let's just get right into it. At number one, we have the souvenir jacket, which has been kind of rising in popularity this year. Uh, I think the first person that kind of really made that pop off is uh, Kanye West when he rocked one. Uh, I believe a lot of these go for well above $100. Um, now pretty much everyone makes them. Forever 21 has quite a few, I believe for $75 or so. Urban Outfitters has some for above $100. And it's definitely not going to be like the bomber jacket where you can kind of evolve the cut the pockets, the colors, the materials used, and or like a denim jacket with like the same thing where they're gonna be kind of staples forever. This is very on trend and as quickly as I saw it rise, I feel like it's dying already. That's why even before Black Friday and everything, I've seen a lot of brands and stores cut prices drastically on those items because they're just really not selling anymore. And I don't know, it's something I think kind of looked pretty gaudy. Um, no offense to anyone who really likes that item, but it kind of just looks really early 2000s. I don't know, like, I don't know. I just really don't like them. Uh, H&M makes an awful $19 one, I think, that they started selling for Black Friday. And I mean, I guess like, you get what you pay for, but this one looks really bad. But yeah, that's the first one on the list. Uh, if you guys like it, if you guys dislike it, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Do you guys think the souvenir jacket will carry into 2017 or will it die out completely or is it already dead? Feel free to let me know. Now moving on to number two, we have these internet slang or text slang, whatever you want to call it, garments, which will be like a t-shirt out of PacSun or whatever and it'll say lit or whatever the fuck that'll say savage like right across it or what else like bruh lit savage whatever the fuck was popular in 2016 just plastered all over a shirt that's definitely something that's just a trend not going to carry over into 2017 i think it's really corny uh if you guys like it then cool i mean lit it's fucking whack bro but yeah so anything kind of tech slang, like the hats that say savage, the hats that say lit. Uh, yeah, that's at number two. Don't really have more to say about that, except that it's just like, it reminds me of back in like 2009, 2010, when kids were wearing like the highlighter fucking colored hats that would say swag, like all over them. Swag. Fuck, do you remember when people used to say that all the time? That was so fucking annoying. But we're past that. And I'm sure you won't be seeing hats and crew necks that say savage and lit all over them going into 2017. At least I hope not, because that's pretty much become like the new swag um, as far as like throwing it all over clothes. So yeah, let's let's put a stop to that, please, for, for 2017. And now moving on to the next one, which will be the last one on this list. Like I said, it's really short trying to make this video not as long as the last one, which I think was like almost 20 minutes long. And it is the green bomber jacket. Now, I like bomber jackets um, of all different cuts and materials, but it seems like 2015 and 2016, no matter where you go, you see a version of a green bomber jacket and all of green bomber jacket to be exact. And I'm just personally sick of seeing the generic green bomber jacket. Like, I think, um, People should kind of evolve the look, you know, change the cut, change the design, change the zippers, change the material that it's made out of, out of as opposed to like a, a polyester shell or what the majority of these bombers are made out of. I don't know. It's, it's even become like a meme at this point. Like, 
you'll see the um, the fashion memes or whatever that'll say like the the fucking hype beast starter pack 2016 or like every boy's like christmas like presents this year and it's like a a green bomber with like yeezys and um what else oh thrasher tees man that should have probably made the list too huh maybe next time maybe it'll be a third one so yeah green bomber jackets that are pretty much the generic cliche one that's kind of everywhere I'm really sick of those. I would like to see a little bit more, you know, maybe one made out of a different material, maybe. But yeah, green bomber jackets. Yeah, that's, I guess, the first one. So yeah, this video is a lot shorter. Uh, make sure to comment below and tell me which one of these trends are your least favorite or if there's something I left out that is your personal least favorite and you don't want to see it go into 2017. I will be making a favorite trends video probably right after this. So if I'm still wearing this, you know that I filmed it the same day that I made this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, also, uh, if you guys didn't see the last video, I am doing a giveaway with a J.R. Smith a Spray Grounds backpack. So make sure to go check that out so you have a good chance of winning. And the winner of that will be announced on December 5th, which I believe is on Monday. I didn't actually check. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let's see uh, what the comment section looks like this time around. It was pretty much almost all positive last time with the exception of a few fuck yous and a, some, some other shit. But hey, that's just the way YouTube works because you guys have the freedom of speech. So yeah, peace out YouTube.